god, my bed is so messy! Hi everyone! This is such a like impromptu video. I said that I would do this like a while ago and I've been gone and I'm trying to clear space on my bed. It's fine. I should probably turn on these lights for aesthetics. But anyways, I'm here for my Q&A. Finally. So if you don't know me already, um, Instagram, Snapchat, here I am. This is me. So if you don't know me, my name is Tiffany. I am a student at Rhode Island School of Design. I'll be a freshman this fall and yeah, a lot of you want to know stuff about me. And so here are some of your questions. I want to give you some of my answers because I feel like I'm getting like the same art questions over and over again. So I should probably clarify. Here's all these questions I've compiled over the past week and I don't even know where they are. I have to like search through. I feel like we should start on my YouTube video. All right, let's get to the question. So this is from my recent sketchbook video if you haven't seen it. Links up here. Cool, cool. Whoa, I love your sketchbook so much. Thank you. I am wondering how you draw your figure drawings. Do you use things from the internet or do you take classes? A lot of these art questions are kind of answered in my portfolio video, so if you guys want to see that, please go watch that. But I use the internet because I never signed up for a class. For the Q&A, favorite artists and fave artists on social platforms. Um, hmm, I don't... As terrible as it sounds, I don't like follow artists very much. I really like, I think her name is September Wildflowers. Let me check. I think that's her name. Uh, I don't follow a lot of artists that aren't like Instagram artists, I guess. Just like her art is so pretty and like the way she does, I don't know what it's called, the thing where you just add like different tones into skin tone that aren't there, but you like enhance the skin tone with other hues. Like I love the way she does it. I have no idea how but it's just like so pretty. So that's my current favorite artist on social platforms. My favorite artist in general, I haven't really taken art history, but I really liked like the romantic period. So there's that. What are your favorite shows, anime, cartoons? Do you have pets? Oh my God, this is so many questions. What is your favorite art medium? Okay, we'll, we'll just start from the beginning. What are your favorite show slash anime slash cartoons? Okay. I still watch a lot of cartoons, probably because I'm going into illustration, so maybe I'm too childish, but whatever. I currently really like Wee Bear Bears because I love the art style. I guess I also really like The Amazing World of Gumball because they do a lot of like fourth wall breaking and like different art styles and it's really cool. Uh, I don't really watch anime. I really like Studio Ghibli. Ghibli? Studio Ghibli? I don't know. That stuff. I really like Hayao Miyazaki. I think it's all so pretty and I visited like his studio in Japan or something and I like almost cried because I was 13 and I was like I'm never gonna do art because I suck so yeah do you have pets I don't have pets but I've had so many hamsters and I want more hamsters right now I currently don't have a hamster but I hope I can get one soon <laughs> they're so cute what is your favorite art medium oof what a question I have a couple I really like I probably have to pick like Copics and Microns as like the first one and then I really like Prismacolor for like realistic drawings and I think after that's probably oil What is your favorite old master artist? See, I don't I don't know because I don't I haven't learned art history and I really need to so I I can't answer that Will you ever do drawing slash painting time lapses? I mean like I wanna but I don't personally like enjoy watching those videos I guess maybe like a few but not very often what ethnicity are you? By the way, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm Chinese. Yeah, just, just full Chinese. There you go. <laughs> Question, what type of music do you listen to and who's your favorite artist? I listen to whatever music I put in the background of my videos. That's usually, that's usually it. I listen to like R&B, rap, hip hop kind of stuff, but I'm kind of impartial and I'll, I'll listen to anything really. Okay, so at 2053, you said it makes no sense to put green here, but how do you know? Where did you learn things like these from? Typically what I do is I'll put like warmer colors in the highlighted areas and cooler colors in the shadowed areas. So like blue and green would go like in the shadow of the face and then, you know, red and yellow would bring out like the highlights. So that's usually what I do. I think I just learned it from like trial and error, just drawing a lot of faces and then you kind of realize like, oh, it's more than just skin tone. You gotta like put colors in there to make it look right. What qualities slash personality do you think you have that is different from the general people around you? That's like a really hard question because like I'm super biased obviously. I feel like art kids are all like different in the same way so we all think we're special but then like we go to art school and we realize we're all exactly the same. From the people around me right now, I feel like I'm more childish than everyone else. Like I get excited more often about stuff. I don't know. Is that weird? I get excited about like 
things really easily. How do you keep yourself humble despite being accepted into top art colleges slash getting numerous gold medals at competitions? I already know that you're somewhere close to being the best. Let me know the psychology behind it, please. There is no psychology. Like, it's like the smarter you are, the more humbling it is because you realize you don't know so much stuff. So I think it's kind of the same thing. I don't think I'm like that good, but I, I work really hard on art. So there's also that. It doesn't like come easily. It kind of comes easily, but it's also like I have to really work at it. Keeping myself humble i feel like that's just like asian parenting right like i was never really complimented on like stuff i want unless it was like a big deal it was probably just my parents always telling me or not telling me i guess that i was like super special until it was like actually important like most of this stuff i didn't i didn't get complimented on um the kids at my school don't really know i do art because i just never talked about it because i was like it's not a big deal. So I think it's like that. I just, I didn't want art to be like my only identity factor or like the only thing about me that's interesting. So I just, I ended up not telling a lot of people by the time I was in like middle school that I did art. And so when people found out, they're like, whoa, I never knew that. And I was like, sorry. As for being close to being the best, I don't think I'm close to being the best. I think for my age, I'm pretty good, but I'm also going to like such a good art college that is like, I'm gonna meet so many people that are better than me, you know? What type of art supplies do you recommend? Mmm, I guess that depends on what you're doing, right? I recommend more based on brands than actual supplies because I feel like that's the big difference. It's really important to have good color pencils. You should really use Prismacolor. If you're not, please learn. Or like just just buy a box just do it please because it's so much better i think prisma colors are like the biggest difference between like bad quality and good quality like i think watercolor can pass acrylic can kind of pass oil can still kind of pass you should probably get good oil too but yeah i think prisma color is like the biggest thing because you see someone draw with like crayola and you can really tell it's just like streaky af and not cute question when you were talking about drawing people in classes can you explain how you kept sketchbooks with you in classes other than art and also, how you knew the appropriate time to use it. I've always wanted a sketchbook more often in school, but I never know when or how to carry it around without it just sitting in my bag all day. Well, it does just sit in my bag all day, and a lot of the times I can't pull it out during school because I took like AP classes and stuff, so we never had free time. But I guess rule of thumb is like, if you have free time, use it. If you're done with your work, like use it. If you can read a book during the time that you're just sitting there, you can probably draw. Um, how I kept it with me? Yeah, I just put it in my bag. I put it in like the laptop divider section. I think if you want a sketchbook in school and you're intimidated, it's easier to start off with a smaller sketchbook because then you're not like, let's start drawing. It's like a more subtle thing. So uh, that's like my only recommendation, I guess. When to use it, it's just like up to you. Don't make teachers mad, but you know do whatever. What was your concentration in your AP portfolio that you were talking about? And I've had two AP art portfolios that were like drawing based. So one of my concentrations was graffiti by the artist. So I was trying to show that graffiti isn't like a mess and that it's actually beautiful in its own way. So I did a lot of master copies and I just like spray paint slash airbrushed graffiti over them. And then that one was the one that got into college board. And then the other one that I was talking about, what did I do? That one that I did in a month was just like, <laughs> it's trash. It wasn't even anything. It was like a style of art that I did where I used impasto with uh, oil and I just like made 3D globby like paint things on it, I guess. What type of sketchbook do you use or what is your favorite type of sketchbook? The current one I'm using right now is a render sketchbook. I like render the best because it's best for marker drawings and that's what I'm basically doing for like my career as of right now. So I really need to have like a marker paper because if you don't like the stuff leads through. But this one, this one I did a lot of like different things in. Like there's a lot of different types of mediums and stuff in this one. I hated the paper quality, but to be honest, like it, it held up pretty well. And this was a Strathmore 400 series sketch paper sketchbook. So I feel like paper doesn't really matter as long as it's not too thin. That's like my only concern is that if the paper is like, <laughs> like parchment paper or something, that's like the only time I don't like sketchbooks. I like binded sketchbooks. So I don't like the spiral. I like this so that it you avoid tearing out pages on accident or on purpose. And I like hard covers and I like thick paper. That's it, yeah. Are you the top three student in your class? I mean, you have a really good GPA and SAT score, even though you think it's bad. At the school I go to, I go to public school and it's insanely competitive for some reason. So I am the top 9% of my school. I'm definitely not top three. I'm ranked like relatively high, I guess, but I'm definitely not ranked top three. But thank you if you think my SAT score is good. 
Hey, I just wanted to know if you have advice on how to develop your own art style. Oh my god, yes, I do. It was so difficult for me to develop my own art style for like the longest time and I copied a lot of other ones and I think that's the best way to do it. It's just to copy other people's art styles until you figure out like what you like from it and you take from that and then you like squish them all together and figure out your own thing. I wouldn't copy exactly what they drew, I would try to use their style and draw something else in it. So I think that was the most helpful, it was like learning their style and then you can adapt and she was like which part you want omg what is your age uh my birthday's may 23rd so i was born in 2000 so i'm 18 yeah whatever the the year is probably how old i am are you left-handed or right-handed i am right-handed okay so that's those were all the questions from my youtube video so now i'm gonna go to my instagram where some of you also asked me some stuff Okay, I really love your art, thank you. What would you say is the hardest thing to learn in art and how could you work to improve that? Also, what is your favorite animal? I think the hardest thing to learn to draw is human anatomy, like faces and figure studies and stuff. How you get better at that? It's just the same way you get better at everything is you just practice a lot. I would watch YouTube videos on that. I almost never watch YouTube videos on how to draw things, but like if you learn the proportions of the human face, it makes it so much easier. I think it's really important to know how to draw like people in human anatomy. Maybe that's just a personal thing, but I honestly think it's really important. So get started on that. It took me, I used to say it took me a whole year to master how to draw the face, but I think it actually took me like five because like after a year I could draw a face to where it looks like a face. After three years I could draw a face that looks like the actual thing. And then like now I can draw a face where it actually looks like good, you know what I mean? What are some exercises you do when you have art block or as a warm up? Uh, I don't really do warm ups. I just kind of draw whatever. I might for like figure drawings. I'll just do gesture drawings really quick. But other than that, I don't do warm ups. What do I do when I have art block? I don't draw for a long time. I have like Pinterest boards that I save of like stuff I want to draw. So if I have art block, I usually just go through and like just like blatantly copy one of those pieces. So at least I'm drawing. Okay, randomly stumbled on your YouTube channel and now I'm in love. Thank you. You're so talented and seem like an awesome person. Thanks. Um, I don't know if you talked about this before, but what do you want to major in at RISD? I am thinking about being an illustration major, but I may change over to animation. I don't know yet. We'll see. What is your dream career? I might regret saying this, but my dream career is like working at Pixar, which is why I think I might transfer over to animation, but I'll have to see how like life goes, you know, like the course of life. Let's see where it takes me because who knows? Art is such a like flexible thing. Ooh, this is my friend. If you can meet any famous artist in person, who would it be? Ooh, if I really don't have an answer. I think I just want to meet September wildfire flowers, not fires, wildflowers. I just want to learn, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh God, well five years is a hard question because that means I've been out of college for a year. I might end up getting like a master's degree in animation if I go that route, or maybe I'll be interning, paid internship, some kind of job maybe, hopefully employed. Yeah. What is your favorite song and why? By the way, love you lots. Thanks. I don't really have a favorite song, I don't think. I'm pretty impartial to music, like I said. I'll kind of listen to whatever's on. So as of right now, I think my favorite song, I really like Better Now by Post Malone, just cause like it's so topical in my life. The one where it's like, you probably think that you are better now, better now, you only say that cause I'm Yeah, so that one. I don't know, and I like the beat. Post Malone isn't like my favorite artist, but you know, I could get down. Tips for a beginner artist. Oh, uh, draw a lot. Keep a sketchbook and don't stress out about that sketchbook. Make sure you're practicing all the time. And if you're a beginner, don't be intimidated, but don't get comfortable. I guess that's for any artist, it's just don't get comfortable. You shouldn't always feel like you've already like mastered something. You should just keep going. If you think you mastered it, okay, keep drawing the same thing, but also draw new things, you know? Like if you're really good at like anime, draw some realistic stuff, stuff like that. How do you find things to draw slash what gives you inspiration? I find things to draw through the internet, usually. Or if I take a trip, uh, traveling really inspires me to draw. So, cause just cause I like, like having memories, so. So those were all my comments. And now I'm gonna go to my, my DMs. Hi, this is gonna be really long, so I hope you read it all. Ha, I read it beforehand, I'm prepared. I'm a rising junior and it's kind of my dream to get into RISD, but all my school stuff is a mess and I don't really have a portfolio together because I had a midlife crisis. I just want to know more of your stats and yeah, can you please give me some advice? 
Well, I said most of my stats that matter in my portfolio video, and I also put like my leadership positions in the description box. So I'm not really sure what to tell you there, but go to Portfolio Day and try to pick up your schoolwork because RISD is the most academically competitive art school. You definitely need like good grades, I'm sorry. I want to do illustration too. Well, if you want to do illustration, make sure you have some illustration pieces in your portfolio, but not just illustration pieces. You should look up RISD's like grade averages, I guess, for applications because I think that would help you a lot and like ground you because that helped me a lot when I was trying to figure out what college I was going to go to. Good luck to you. I know junior year is super stressful. If you're a rising junior, then it's not too late for your grades because junior year is like what matters the most for grades for like colleges. So just work really hard. Good luck. What is the size of your sketchbook? Uh, whatever size this is. They're all kind of like the same size. You know what I mean? Does this say on here? Probably not. But just like whatever size this looks to you. They're all pretty much the same size. Is there any recommendations for the paper in the sketchbooks? Like I said, just thick, thick, good quality paper. So, mm -hmm. so uh, I've gone through all my questions and I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Let me know if you guys like this video because I know this isn't like what I usually do, but I, I felt like I needed to do this because everyone kept asking me the same exact questions. So, yeah, we done, we good, we Gucci. So please don't think I say that like seriously, that, that was ironic, please, please don't. Please don't quote me on that ever. I'll be replying to comments and questions and stuff for uh, a good while after this is posted. I know I've been gone, so I'm sorry, but I want to do like a celebration for like a thousand subscribers, but I don't know what to do. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions. Let's, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. I didn't think I'd hit like a thousand this fast. I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and I'll keep you updated. Okay, cool. All right, I'll end the video here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever. Do all that good stuff. And I will see you next week. Yeah. Watch my latest video. Watch my last video. I'll just hang out here on my laptop. I'll just wait. You should really click the video. Honestly, I don't know why you're like still hanging out here. You should go watch it. It's a really good video. It's my sketchbook tour. You don't want to see my sketchbook. I talk so much about art. You don't want to see my sketchbook. Like, why are you? Why are you still here? Go watch it. It's cool. I'm cool. I promise. Hey. Right, okay. Bye. My own video is playing. That's awkward. Um, if you don't know me, ooh, that's a sound. How do we get to my DMs? Oh my god. Can I? Oh, I have to download something. Oh god. I mean, okay, whatever. One minute remaining. We'll just wait. It's fine. I'll wait. <laughs> I just want to see my DMs, please. Thank you. Wait, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. <laughs>